Hey guys, what's up? Derek here with another video and today we're going to be recording a video talking about why we moved out of our apartment. So before you guys are like, oh my goodness, 21 year old living with his parents, bro. Man, living in the United States, living on your own is so expensive. Like if you don't have like a little house or something and like you have to live in an apartment, it's so expensive. And this last year was probably one of the most challenging times for me, but also helped me progress with my job and everything. Helped me kind of put myself into a corner, grow. Like live, we we were living check to check for for a long time, and uh, it was basically since like we lived in our since we started living in our apartment, and uh, our experience there was pretty crap too. We got constantly disregarded by the apartment staff and all that stuff. When we had leaks, we had things breaking in our apartment um, that we needed fixed, and we just basically got really disregarded. And it was very unfortunate because it was my first time living in an apartment. Experience was not the best. Kind of wish it was a little bit better for my first time. Kind of an impossible situation right here. So we got disregarded a lot by our apartment and they made us feel like a huge inconvenience when we asked them to help us with problems that we needed fixed. And so we just had problems, you know, we were living in mold and stuff like that. Like there was mold in our apartment and they're like, oh yeah, that's normal. Just, uh, you know, get some cleaning materials and like clean it up like that. That's not normal. You know, living in mold. First of all, my fiance is allergic to mold, so I had to be very careful around that with her, but that was not the right thing for them to say. Ooh. It was just a really crappy experience though, like, you know, just wanted to try living in an apartment, you know, get a little bit of freedom, but man, we were having to live check to check. It was basically, in Skyward's terms, it was like, it was having to pay the rating of a safe gold every month. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty whack. My parents offered for us to move in with them so we can save up for the wedding. And that was, I'm really glad they did because, um, we're going to be able to save up a lot more money in the long run here because I, I wasn't gonna be able to pay for an apartment and save for a wedding at the same time. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't gonna be able to save up for an apartment and save up for a wedding at the same time. So yeah, really, really glad to be able to be moved back in with my parents. Feels really nice being able to spend more time with them. And you know, I was missing that being moved out and everything. So, you know, obviously we're not gonna be living here forever. Um, but yeah, just to be able to get back on our feet a little bit and, you know, save up some money so we can move out in the future and get our own house. We do plan on building our own house. It's both of our dreams. So yeah, but it's really nice to be in a good positive environment. Um, again, cause that, that, that living in the apartment was such a negative environment for me. And dude, like I, I felt so rest living there all the time. Like it was like, just, it was just the spawn of depressing. I'm just super glad to be out of there, but I just want to let y'all know that we're moved out of the apartment. So if I'm streaming, you're like, hey, that's the same background that when you first started streaming. Yeah, we moved back in with my parents. So that's basically it. I'm very thankful to be back here. And a uh, tip for anybody, you know, that's young and trying to move out and all that stuff, man, as long as your parents let you stay with you, just take that. Just just stay with them as long as you can. Until, like, obviously, you don't want to be a 30 year old in your parents' basement. But what I'm saying is just be thankful for the what you have, because living on your own is very rough, and especially in America with how expensive stuff is now. I have a semi high paying job and we were still living check to check because of just how ridiculously expensive stuff is, you know? And I'm not even trying to like brag about like, oh, I have such a rich job. No, like I'm saying even with a job, something like that, like something that a lot of people would die to have. But yeah, it was just, it was really a crazy experience and we learned a lot from it. Um, I'm glad it happened, but I'm glad it, I'm glad we're out of there at the same time. It kind of helped push me to be the best version of myself, one of the best versions of myself because um, I think I took my job for granted. Super glad that we went in the, there's a big zombie there. I just realized that. Um, I took my job for granted before we moved out. And then when we moved out, I was like, okay, I really need to step it up if I'm going to like do good and like keep this job and be able to like actually support us living on our own. Dude, this guy, I, I can't like, <laughs> oh my gosh, it like runs. But yeah, I was able to step it up at my job, take it seriously and all that. And I actually moved up a bit in my job. I'm kind of like in a, not like a manager position right now, but like a, a shift leader position. So I'm like training somebody right now. I get to have my own student. I need to get a bow because I'm not gonna be able to damage this guy from close up because that zombie, from what I remember, it one taps people. <laughs> I was like full diamond in insane mode one time and this thing just came up and one tapped me. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. A little suspicious. Okay. We're good. We're in the world. Come on. Oh, dude. The cow, the cow literally blocked it for him. No way. There ain't no way. That cow literally blocked that shot. He would have died. Oh my goodness. Come on. 
A lot of people want to get out as soon as they can. I understand, you know, wanting to have that freedom and all that stuff. Yeah, that's great. But you just got to like understand how much stuff costs in the US and it's like actually like ridiculously expensive. If your parents are nice and you have a nice, like loving, positive home environment and everything, and like you should really just consider staying with your parents for a while. Cherish what you have because the moment you decide that you want to have some freedom move out and all that stuff and you don't have a super crazy paying job you know it you're gonna be living check to check you're gonna be having to work every single day of overtime if your job even lets you Woo! yeah that's gonna be the last game to end the video because i don't want my uh thing to risk corrupting anymore but yeah we're back at my parents house guys and uh i just wanted to uh, let you guys know oh we're on 110,000 kills on the dot Woo! 110,000 solo kills on the dog. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. But yeah, moral of the story, if you guys are in a good environment, just stay there until like, obviously it's time to move out. You don't want to be 30 years old and living in your parents' house, you know? If you have to take care of your parents, then yeah, that's a different story. But what I'm saying is you have a great environment and you don't have to get out of there and it's not abusive and stuff like that. But just, just stay until, you know, you can afford moving out because the economy is really, really crazy. Everything's priced and just skyrocketed in pricing. And it's hard for just everybody to even keep up without like killing themselves at jobs. You're working themselves to death just to be able to make ends meet i i'm glad i get to be here at my parents house again i get to spend more time with my family and uh just overall improve on my person as a whole and uh i just want to let you guys know that all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video um it's just a little commentary thing and i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace